Hello viewers, I'm SB, and this is Star Wars TM Jedi TM Fallen Order TM, and then that TM also has a little TM up into the right of it, because intellectual property law is insane. Uh, this is a new Star Wars game. It's a new Star Wars game, and I'm excited. I'm, mo I'm moderately excited. Here's the thing. I've been a big Star Wars nerd for a long time. I've been playing Star Wars video games for a long time. Come to think of it, it's <laughs> approaching 30 years now. And God, I feel old. Um, and they're bad, mostly. The Star Wars <laughs> Star Wars video games are mostly pretty bad. It's it's like they're cursed or something. It's not universally the case. There have been some great ones, but um, I'm always a little nervous. However, this game was made by Respawn Entertainment, and I have nothing but positive things to say about their previous efforts. So we're going forward with hope. I am choosing to have hope, which feels like a thematically appropriate thing to do in a Star Wars game. So. Uh, start new journey. Uh, we're going in on Jedi Grandmaster. It says at the bottom there we can change it at any time. I would rather the game be too hard and we have to turn it down than we play a bunch of the game on a difficulty that's too low and not interesting, you know. Uh, and I do want to warn people ahead of time, just right up front here. Uh, I ran around a little bit in the first area and... It's, it's kind of hitchy and weird, and messing with the graphic settings and stuff didn't seem to fix it. My computer's old. Uh, I have, an, I have a, at this point, quite an old processor and stuff. It still runs things, but uh, basically, there's going to be some performance hiccups, and they're probably my hardware's fault, not the game's fault. Look at all that. Just bask. Bask here with me in the Star Wars of it all. Set your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It's gonna be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The guild will double your pay for this shift. Come on, Cal. Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get to work. I immediately Just like Prof. I'm right behind you. So yeah, this is uh, you know, it's Star Wars. It's like just after the prequels Star Wars, which is not actually an area of the thing that I know a ton about. A lot of the a lot of the Star Wars novels and stuff that I've read I I read in the early nineties, because that's <laughs> that's when I was coming up into it. So um maybe we're gonna be learning some stuff together here. I will say, I'm a little disappointed. I mentioned this in the uh, the video I posted last week talking about how we were going to play this. I'm a little disappointed that, like, they went to all the trouble of making a new Star Wars game, and then they gave us, like, the most default-ass young Jedi man protagonist. And, you know, spoilers, it turns out our dude- I'm- It turns out our dude's got force powers and there's going to be a lightsaber and stuff. It was right in the name. You probably had guessed already. Um, there's so much cool, weird stuff in Star Wars. You know, let me play as whatever prof is. How about that? But- this will be the last time I complain about it. I just wish people were willing to be a little bit more adventurous with this extremely huge and cool and weird thing uh, that they have. Uh, check out the R4. That's neat. Is that an R4? Hmm. I'm a little rusty. I think that's an R. I think that's an R4. All right, Prof. Wait up, man. Don't worry about it. Can't spend money if you're dead. Whoa, lady, language. I don't think these tools are gonna make it through the shift. Up here. Uh, you say that every time. To be perfectly honest, I kind of would love to play a Star Wars game that's just actually working as a as a salvager after big space battles. That would be a cool new thing. 
a thing I've never seen before. Will you look at that. A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, let's go. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, the amount of, like, metal and electronics components and stuff that must go into creating a spaceship of that size. I wonder how long it takes to run one of these salvage operations. That game would be, like, 80% spreadsheets, and I would love every second of it. Alright, so, um, we're about up to where I got up to when I was testing things, and I'm not actually sure whether or not there are collectibles in this game, um, or if there will be any in this level. You know, Titanfall had the pilot helmets and stuff, so I'm just trying to keep my head on a swivel here. Boy, they really don't want me to move the camera around. Yeah, this is the best I can do. Ladders out, though. Yes, I see that. Gonna have to find another way. Yeah, no problem. I'll improvise. See you there, pal. Okay, so there's a lot of climbing and stuff in this game. Is the impression I got from the pre-release footage. Can I please have my camera back? Why am I not allowed to turn my camera yet? I used, okay, they really wanted me to move up to here and see that. Is that going to be the right way, though? He went up. Hold on, where, well, let's have a look around. I feel like there's definitely an invisible wall here. I feel like up would be better. I guess we're, we're going to take, like, the really long way. Okay, fair enough. Let's go slide down the extremely dangerous slidey thing. Can I... Oh, yeah. Ooh, impulsive, like, Tony Hawk half-pipe stuff. Shit. Okay, well... <laughs> maybe maybe I should be a little more careful. Depart this barge immediately. You are not approved trash. Boy, don't trash. I know it. Just not approved trash. Hey, Cal, I'll make the jokes here. You know, not for nothing, but it's taking the food right off my plate. All right, like I said, just trying to be thorough. You know how video games are. There's so many little like nooks and crannies in, around here where a thing could be hidden. And there are so many things that they could hide, you know, holocrons and who knows what else. Um, can I scale the wall? Nope. Am I... did I miss something? Am I going the wrong way? Oh, sure, yep. Sure, there's a rope right there. Which I still almost missed. Oh wow, he can really get going. Ooh, what are those? Yeah, so I didn't watch Clone Wars. Um, I'm really not up on what was happening right after the third movie. There's gonna be a lot of stuff in here that I am not familiar with, probably. You talking to me? Well, if he is, I hope whatever it was wasn't important. Just passing through. Okay, I'm starting to get the visual language of it. We're being, we're definitely being directed toward the red stuff. There's a real like, uh, there's a mirror's edginess to it. What is this Rodian doing? Oh, he's consulting with his robot about this radio. They're arguing about what's on the radio. It's well known that Rodians love smooth jazz. Astromech droids cannot stand it. Oof. I bet it's a real strained relationship down there. I will say this. I have a pretty serious fear of heights, and some video games really set it off. This one is not, for whatever reason, which I appreciate. That's the idea. Okay. Alright. Alright, this seems like a good idea. Boy, I sure hope one of the, I sure hope none of those robots come flying past and just knock my dumb ass off of this. Yep. Okay. So the game's doing a pretty good job of communicating, like the the bright red bits, the this is where you're supposed to go parts. Clone trooper helmets. That's pretty cool. Not allowed to steal these apparently. Yeah, I'll just jam myself in here. Why not? I wonder, since they're using red to direct like people, I, I wonder if that's tricky Maybe. for Just people who are red, red, green, color blind. No to come out and say hi this time. Yeah, I wonder if they managed to choose a color that stands out enough. 
Yeah, you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about with the uh, with the hitchiness. The frame rate gets weird sometimes. Uh, this first area is very open. Hey, I'll meet you at the clamps. Sounds good. Be there soon. Because they're very obviously trying to impress us, so I, I wonder if it will be. Okay, Zeta dropped down. Okay, I, I don't have to do anything. He just catches stuff. So I, I wonder if it'll be less of an issue in later areas. Oh, okay. I have to actually. I wonder. I wonder if I do have to actually press E. It kind of looked like he didn't properly grab the wall for a second there until I did press it. But I would like to believe that he's smart enough to just grab stuff when you jump over to stuff. How'd you get here? How'd you get here? Huh? Solid comeback, Cal. I think maybe there's no fall damage. That's a fall that was far enough that I was expecting to take damage. Okay, yes, you do absolutely have to hit E or he won't grab on. Wait, am I supposed to be going up or down? I mean, the, ca the camera's pointing down. Probably I'm supposed to go down. <laughs> that was the fastest way to do that. Probably uh, not the least painful, though. Okay, that's a little hard to buy as dialogue that those guys would just be saying to each other without my, not for my benefit. That is pretty cool, though. It's just like a big laser hacksaw. Actually, that's extremely cool. Ooh, ATSTs. So I'm not really clear on like what technology was available right at the end of the Clone Wars and what is stuff that came up later. Am I supposed to be jamming through here? The ship, the top of the ship is is kind of the same red, it's sort of a similar red. So I thought maybe, where am I going? I go, well, I definitely don't go down there. Uh oh, did he manage to get? Did he manage to get turned around already? It's incredible. It's like a superpower. There's a rope. There's a big rope right there. How about I climb the rope? Yeah, they're they're very interested in driving home all of the Star Wars that they managed to uh, to get the rights to. Which I listen, I understand. I would probably be doing the same in their situation. Hurry, we gotta finish before they start cutting this wing. Afternoon, afternoon. I'm pretty sure that's Steve Blum. Ooh. Yes, yeah, so I'm a like I like I probably mentioned three or four times now. I'm uh, I'm gonna be easily impressed here. I'm a <laughs> pretty easy mark for all this Star Wars stuff. Daniel Override Lover. Okay, well it's probably on this red thing. Also, is that a Sarlacc? Wait, is the Sarlacc is the Sarlacc the name of the species, or is it just that one? Huh. Either that, or it's the galaxy's biggest ocho down there. <laughs> well. I um I did not jump far enough. You gotta get right close to the edge before you to Okay. There's definitely a little bit of like um you can get you can be off the edge for a second before jumping. I'll get used to it. Got it. Your turn. Boy, and and it's raining and everything. This is this is not safe. I should have a harness and a like a hard hat at the very least. Jesus. Give me a fright there, pal. <laughs> yeah, imagine how I feel about it. Done. Hang on. I got this. I'm just saying the union's gonna be Come outraged on. when they hear about Get this. Come take a look at this. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score! It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this thing's been here what four years? Five. <laughs> Whoever flew this went down in a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. Real tragedy. I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess it's just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Well, listen to me. Find us free like this? It'll be your ticket off this soggy walk. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. Yeah, why would anybody want to leave this? Eventually, 
You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. I just realized they're gonna kill Prof to, to provide us character that motivation, that? aren't they? I had a second moment there of like, man, I really like Prof, he's a cool character. And then the, the grim realization set in. Oh jeez, maybe already. Oh, ow, okay. I'm, I'm actually in control of this, alright. We are not going to fly off the side of the thing this time. Ooh, that's bad. That's a lot of explosions. Can I jump? Ooh, no. no, I cannot. Ow. Actually, I mean, as long as I'm hitting stuff that's not killing me, it seems like it's a good idea to slow your descent, right? Maybe that droid could be helping us? I have a use the force button. I've seen them. I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Prof, the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. I know. Yeah, we're ready. We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you gotta do spaceship salvage wherever the spaceships fall, right? They're very big and heavy. It's not really practical to move them. But somebody should at least throw a tarp over that thing. That seemed like a little bit of a, like a sudden takeoff, but I guess that probe droid was right there watching me when I used the force, so... Uh, people in this time period, they got some feelings about force users, I know that much. I had to say, I really like the facial animation on Cal. You could see the exact moment in that little conversation uh, where, <laughs> where the only thought he was having was, Prof, shut up! Please stop talking about this. Speaking of Prof, what happened here? Where'd he go? And then we looked for the collectibles. Hey, little guy, do you have a thing? You do not have a thing for me. All right now. It seems like I can't... There's no, like, sprint? Prof? Which is weird. I guess it would be... It would be weird to just start sprinting down this train, but... Can I... Okay. Prof, wait up! This is a... Wait... Just disappear? 
Actually, yeah. Okay, it's happening to a lot of people. Okay. At first I thought it was just a graphics glitch, because, you know, we've seen some graphics stuff happen, but, you know, some, something else is going on here. Where are you going? I'm getting, I'm getting dark-sided right now. Really wish I could sprint. I would feel so much more comfortable. I, I hit it already. Is it not? This door is broken. Oh. Wow, Cal's got a real, like, uh, a real gorilla walk going on, huh? This is cool, though. Interesting. Move out and line up. Probably just another contraband inspection. I'm surprised to see modern looking stormtrooper armor so shortly after the after the Clone Wars. I, I, I don't have any idea what the timeline is of all of that stuff. Is this all a loop? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in. Or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. Refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. <clears throat> and engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire. We're all just expendable. Yes. You all. <laughs> no! <laughs> Look at this. A lightsaber. I found the Jedi! <laughs> 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 Okay, well that happened a little earlier than I thought it was going to. And listen, I said my piece about default-ass Jedi character just doing the same thing that we've been doing in Star Wars video games forever, but the moment they start... Yeah, here we go. The moment they start letting me fight people with a lightsaber, I, like, that feels good. Lightsabers are real cool. I get why they keep going back to it. I'm just saying, you know, have some ambition. Ooh, check out the graffitied R5? That's a 5? I don't know. It looks good though. They should paint them like that more often. Over the a Jedi? Stay sharp. It's a traitor. Blast them. 
Okay, I don't have to work very hard to block blaster bolts, apparently. This is not really working. I don't know why you're continuing to do this. You can tell that this is not working. Okay, blaster bolts move slowly enough that you have a, a significant amount of time to wind up that, uh, that deflect. Well, you know, it's magic. I have... I have sorcery and also a magic sword. Okay, that's working about the way I expect it to work. It's not quite enough ridiculous sparks when you hit a random lightsaber with a with a lightsaber, but it'll do. It feels pretty Star Warsy. One way out. Okay. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Boy, that thing has a real sense of speed as it passes you. Okay. Gotta keep moving. I'm glad we learned that thing about having to hit E earlier, because that's a situation where failing to press it would probably have some uh, immediate consequences. I chose to rest instead. Okay, and lock on and. Confirm. Ooh, these guys have those. Uh... Oh, all right. Blocking melee attacks is actually super good. Oh, not always. Okay, so he has like a blocking bar that we have to deplete by hitting him. Right, so this is this is how they this is how they justify you sometimes having to swing your lightsaber more than once in order to fight people. Okay, the, the window for a successful parry is. I'm gonna have to learn the attack animation timings a little bit. Okay. So I accidentally parried the first guy. That's why that went as smoothly as it did. Are we getting more? Use the force. Too slow, the enemy. Take that. I don't know, that's okay. So that blue the blue bar at the bottom of the screen is the force bar then. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do I chop it up? I mean, I guess... Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, that's... that's a grating. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm getting there, I'm following. Did he say stop trying to flee? This is the opposite of... I'm not... I'm doing the opposite of that thing. Okay. I don't know why you would say a thing that is so rife with, for dramatic irony. Like, even if you're having that thought, just keep that shit in your head, man. Really inviting tragedy here. Okay, so the combat's not... The, the, the parry timing's pretty tight, but the combat doesn't seem too terribly hard for now. And we're just fighting random stormtrooper mooks, I'm sure, when I, uh... When I start facing other people who have lightsabers, it'll be a little bit... Oh, I should... I should lock onto somebody. Oops. Well, never mind that thing I was just saying about the combat being pretty easy. So they have uh, they have some attacks that are a little bit faster <laughs> than their big, slow, ridiculous overhead swing. That's fine. Something tells me we'll uh, we'll get it this time. So the lock on's a little bit weird. Also, uh, there is a big screen that comes up right at the beginning of the game. Where they're like, hey, listen, technically you can play this game with a mouse and keyboard, because we couldn't release it without mouse and keyboard controls, but please, for the love of God, play on a controller. And I'm not doing it, because hubris, you know, they can't... Listen, I'm not gonna let a video game developer tell me what to do, but also I literally don't own a controller, so... Uh, before anybody yells at me in the comments, this is how I have to play it. There we go, see, that's better. Okay, you are not safe during those... Uh, Post parry kill animations. Ooh, I, yeah, I shouldn't have gone for it there. Remember that thing I just said about how you're not safe during those animations? The big, the big wide swings. Ooh, hey, we got enough sparks that time. The big wide swings seem to be pretty good for keeping guys who are in front of you from moving up on you. I am definitely taking a lot of damage though. Get to the front. Stop the train. Even these really basic enemies hit super hard. 
That's fine. That's the, like a game about being a Jedi should be all, all, all about precision and Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, I have a sprint now. I think I started doing it without even thinking about it just because, you know, you use the video game sprint controls. It's left shift in every video game ever. Jesus. Okay. I was going to try to be smart there and skip skip one of the cover positions with the explosion spooked me a little bit. <laughs> Okay. That door feels really far away. I wonder if I can slow that thing. Faster. Let's just try to run. Oh, Jesus. He's here. I'm ready for your Jeez. Uh, okay. Alright, everything's fine. Nobody worry. He shot the coupling out. Okay, well that was nice of him. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to just jump across. I didn't. I didn't see this walkable thing. All right. All right, Cal. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Ooh, there's a real um bit of an unchartedness to uh, to events here. Well, I think I'm going up now. Down doesn't seem like a real option anymore. This is bad. They stopped color coding. Maybe that, the color coding was only for the tutorial area. Where am I going now? Oh. Okay, this way. I was going to say, it doesn't really seem like there's anywhere to climb from here. Nope. Nope. There we go. These controls are not really made for climbing on inclined surfaces. probably a thing that's a little bit easier with analog controls. You might be able to angle the climbing better. We're here to help! Who are you? No time! Keep moving! We'll pick you up when we can! Yeah, Cal, it's not really maybe the most important question at the moment. Less who are you and how do I more how do I get on that ship, please? The old Jedi Masters always say, don't look a Han Solo in the mouth. Okay, this is a uh, This is fairly intense. <laughs> Not actually very difficult, but it's definitely making me feel nervous. Oh, I was. The thing is, I was trying. <laughs> I was a little bit off center there, and I was like, "Well, I'll just, I'll just correct a small amount while I'm climbing," and then I press jump while I was still correcting, because I'm very stupid. I have no self-preservation instinct whatsoever. It's just I'm like a he. I can't. Why would you ever climb up a thing in a not perfectly centered way, right? And we are going to jump straight up. There we go. Alright, see, that's a great example of what I was talking about earlier with the uh, the big wide swings keeping people... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm having problems from multiple sides. Does he... Actually, should I have my back to those... I'm not really sure how the blocking works. I don't know if he will... Uh... Ow. Shit. I did kill the one guy. I'm not sure if he'll block blaster bolts that are coming in behind him. Uh, okay, I might have to advance a little bit more slowly through that uh, through that bit. In a lot of games where you have this like parry, parry and then lethal counterattack mechanic, you would be invincible during the lethal counterattack animations, and I kind of appreciate that that's not the case here. That you have to like think about what you're doing a little bit more carefully. Look at this guy. That moment of cowardice. Okay, this is bad. I'm actually being shot at from a lot of different angles. Okay, he... Question answered. He does, in fact, block bla block blaster bolts that are coming in from behind. Alright, I should probably just be, like, locking on so, I'm, so I can walk backwards. Okay. I should also, apparently... Make sure to continue holding down block after reflecting the first blaster bolt so that I don't get hit in the face by the second one. It was all good stuff to learn early in the game. 
What now? Oh, you know, just train stuff. Train stuff? Well, that seems bad. Now, this can't be good. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay. I can, in fact, jump while sliding now. Oh, I thought it was... Okay. I was, I was trying to get up on top of the train car. Never mind. Everything's fine. See that she tried to get me to jump early to my death. No. Okay, this is bad. Use the force somehow. Oh. That seems like it would really hurt. Like a lot. That's fine, you don't need ribs to be a Jedi. Someone it is a weird stance. What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? All right. Ooh, she is not uh, not as easy to parry. Also, she has the Force. Wait a minute, I have the Force. That strike will be your last. Ooh, okay, I can. I can evade. Yeah, I don't know if I was just missing the parry timing or if she's not as vulnerable to it. Let's see if we let's see if I can hit it. Okay, she also has evades. Yeah, I definitely just didn't do it right. Well, the good news is, based on the amount of damage we're doing to her, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to lose this fight. This would, <laughs> this would have been a hell of a thing to get through. Alright, well, they didn't technically shoot me. We should be taking off? Why are we not taking off? Go! Do not shoot at her. This is only going to make things worse. Oh gosh, she's Spider-Man. Christ, Cal, turn the lightsaber off! What are you doing, man? Okay. Okay, shut that thing off and grab some seat. That did not end with everybody nice dead, help. only through dumb luck. Who are you people? My name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the man is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors, and now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? And what's the bounty on Jedi these days, anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger 
than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too. Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now. Something familiar about that woman's voice. I can't quite place it, but I must have I must have seen or heard her in something you before. Your life. Find your destiny. Calico! You were talking in your sleep. But weirdo. That's a real bad habit for a fugitive. Okay. Where are we at here? I uh, got some wrenches and stuff, you know, some space wrenches. Very, very futuristic future wrenches. Can I use this ladder? I cannot. I do not have any of my normal controls, in fact. I'm also not allowed to run on the ship. That's probably not a thing like I can't, just, you know, it's impolite. Impolite to run on someone else's ship. Can I play the space banjo? Is that a thing? Oh, it's a force banjo. It's one of those ancient Jedi banjos. Oh, Cal, do not start singing. That song. I wrote it years ago. You touch an object and witness events connected to it. You feel its history. It's an echo in the force from the object. Not many Jedi have that skill. How would you know that? I was once a Jedi, but not anymore. Hmm. Do I know you? No, but I knew your master. Gerald to Paul. He was a true guardian of the Republic. He was a hero. Listen. Something happened to me during the purge. I survived, but my connection to the Force is damaged. When I meditate, if I let my guard down, I lose control. And it's like I'm back in that moment when you survived, Cal. And you're not alone. Not anymore. We're coming up on our destination. There's something interesting going on here thematically. The idea of people being severed from the Force by the trauma of the, the Order 66 event. I'm interested. I'm curious where they're going with this. This is Bagana. A Jedi I knew discovered it before the Purge. You won't find it on any maps. The Empire doesn't know this place exists? No. So, what's the plan? We hide out here? We're done hiding, Cal. See that structure over there? I believe that vault holds the key to rebuilding the Jedi Order. But it requires someone strong in the Force to pass its test. And since you're not a Jedi anymore, that's why you need me. I know you don't trust me. And I'm not really sure I trust you. But we have a common enemy. And a common cause. I'll share more of my plan after you reach the vault. But until then, there's someone here I think you should meet. 
May the force be with you. You know, we really... There's no reason we shouldn't trust her. I think, I think it'd be perfectly reasonable for Cal to trust her. She, uh, she did save our lives. She could have just let us die if she just wanted us to die. Ooh, what's that? Guess I'm looking for a Jedi then. But if there's already one here, why does Seer need me? Look at that guy. Look at that little dude. Oh! Oh, they're adorable. What are they, though? I do love a good Star Wars critter. Alright, what are we... Hold on. What are we actually doing here? I'm getting distracted. They're just sort of all over the place. They're like, um... Prairie dogs that are way more dog. Weird. Also, is that a dragon? That's, I think, looking directly at us? Okay, so maybe we don't go over there. I guess, actually, those things were probably leading me forward, huh? Also, there is red stuff in this direction to indicate that we should go this way. Uh... Okay, let me climb along this. How do I... How do I drop... How do I drop down into, a, like, a climb? That's... A, all right. We're just gonna... We're gonna go for that. Well, that didn't work. Maybe that... All right, hold on. This looks like a safe place to meditate. Just I suppose I should have looked mind. around for glowy things. You know, it's sort of... In my defense... This thing over here, first of all, totally looks like a climb on your hand sort of thing, and it's kind of a reddish brown. I, I, don't at me, okay? I, it seemed reasonable at the time. All right, let's touch the thing. Out here in the open, where the dragon is, seems like a safe place to meditate. This is a save point. Make sure to interact with them to save your progress. Save points are where Cal can rest and spend skill points to acquire new skills. Okay, easy enough. Uh, yeah, let me skill point. Let's skill point, shall we? Oh, I have a sphere grid. Or an overhead slash. What do you know? It's an overhead sl Wait, what is going on in that clip? That's pretty weird how the front part of that thing pops off after he should be bisecting it. Okay, well... That's a weird clip to use for that, but okay, I have a big, a powerful strike that is deadly against weaker enemies, but it costs some force. Alright, easy enough. What else is in here? Dash strike, jump while dashing to flip over the target instead. Okay, so it's like a, a Batman vault, that seems useful. Leaping slash. Alright, so it's just a bunch of different moves and stuff. Okay, this part of the this part of the grid is where all your force stuff is. I guess there are labels that are clearly indicating max health increase. Probably going to be useful. Take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. Probably the correct way to solve that problem is just to get good at parrying. But I I may end up needing this. All right, and I rest. I guess because our health was not totally full. Life and force have been restored, enemies have been respawned. Oh, okay, so it's got a real, um, like, Dark Souls bonfire thing going on. Hey, BD-1. I'm Cal. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just I'm looking for someone. No, not you. I'm searching for a, a Jedi, I think. Hold on. You know the Jedi? What do you know? Wait, hold on! Did you just slice that? Thanks. I like the performances so far. I'm, I'm, I'm digging this, but I think this might be a good place to clip the first episode. So, uh, that's gonna be it for us for right now. Uh, we're just, we're doing a deep dive on this game today. This is gonna be the only thing we're playing. I'm gonna put out, like, I don't know, four or six episodes of approximately this length. Um, so... That's going to be it for us for right now, and thank you all so much for watching. Come back a little bit later for some more, and we'll see you then.